Wonderful atmosphere here on the uh, banks of the River Lake. Declan Hannon, Daryl Donovan, Tom Morrison. The three of them combined for a ball that's sailing between the posts and over the bar. Getting the shot away with his feet planted. Gone back is Tommy O'Connell. On quite an amount of ball in this opening half. Luke Mead, uses down, has the support. Saw that the support was there with Brian Roach from Bride Rovers, and that is sailing between the posts. Yeah, great score, Tommy O'Connell, a really well secure possession, which allowed him to get up the pitch. Coming through the middle, Declan Hannon. Not one, but two in support. One of them is Darrow Donovan. Looks at the target and raises the white flag for the first time from his perspective. Great heart to play. Into the centre. Here comes Big Garoud. Certainly with those boots, as you said, Brendan, you could see him from outer space. Ball comes out for us. Barry Murphy. Limerick were under pressure momentarily, but now they go into counter-attack mode. David Reedy. Seamus Flanagan one on one inside now, and they're just not giving it into him. This the road has it. And that sails between the posts. But you were right, Brendan, he, there was one on one on the inside there. There was, yeah, they tried to get it in. Just that look there, but then no, it's not on. Let's take the simple point. That's the trademark of Limerick, Marty, to be fair. The road Hegarty is waiting for it. Under pressure. Tries to chip it up. Parker there. Takes three to stop him ball bouncing all over the place, there's a hurley in the ground but the slither is in the hand of Tommy O'Connell who's performing well giving it out for his own Downey the Glen Rovers man is the full back and he's the one that scores yeah. brilliant play, lead debutante and that is very impressive that's a great score, showing the forwards how it's done Declan Hannon sends it down the middle good hands by Tom Morrissey giving it back for his, the left half back Colin Coughlin on for was Barry Murphy dropping it in and that is yeah. going over the bar brilliant yeah it's a great score watch and breaking the tackle there gets it inside it's a simple game when you can break the tackle Marty like he can and you just thought Cork were on the way back perhaps into the game but with great ease Limerick just stepped up Nathan. their performance one Cork forward three Limerick backs and they just tippy tappy the ball out Declan Hannon sending it long and over the shoulder and over the bar it's Adam English from June gotten well ahead of his marker there you can see up over the shoulder coming down Paris Right corner forward, Declan Dalton. There's an opportunity here. Oh, fantastic. What a shot. Robbie O'Flynn. When you play the extra bodies inside, sometimes it works like that. They got the overlap. And Robbie looked up. There's only one place to go, and that was in the far corner, right in off the post. Hopefully this will ignite something in Cork now. Goes short. Just the pressure. Robbie O'Flynn anticipated it. Saw what McCarthy was doing. Making an angle. Patrick Horgan was directing it like Johnny Sexton was doing it in Cardiff. He indicated where he wanted it. And a bit like Johnny Sexton in Cardiff, Patrick Horgan delivers in Parky Queen. Patrick Collins with the Katog drives it into the Limerick territory. 50 50 ball. Nicely picked up. And away goes Robbie. He is the man. Difficult angle sends it across. Oh, Hoggy almost had it. There's an opportunity here, and it sails into the net! Declan Dalton! Father O'Neill's man, Imo Killy man, pulling on the ground, ground hurling is still alive, back in the net, game on! Beautiful play by Kieran Joyce, going up into the air, Shane Kingston making himself available again on the overlap this is way better Cork Kieran Joyce in the yep. middle of Parky Cave 
sends it over the bar. It started with the centre half back, Kieran Joyce from Castle Martin, and it ended with a great score at the other end. Coughlin again with that sweet strike of a ball out to the wing for the forward to run on to. Opportunity beckons. Yeah. It's looking good. It's a great effort by Dunica O'Dalek. Spins it over his shoulder, out in front, of course, it sticks. It's one-on-one -on -one and gets that yard of space he needs. And Cork have it. And they go charging forward with Conor Kala. Sending the ball in. It was a small deflection. Good work by Conor Lahan. He has the confidence. Yeah. Has he got the accuracy? Yes, he has. He's the man. He had the confidence here having won the possession to turn and shoot well done Conor Cahalan don't shoot yourself give it to the shooter he did that Conor Lahan gives it to Patrick Horgan giving it back Shane Kingston heading past the 20 he's got away from his challenge is this the winner Cork Shane Kingston hero the Rebels are back and the All Ireland champions going to be beaten in their very first Allianz League game of 2023 Remarkable. The crowd of 19,516 are on their feet. Kingston the man. Cork the winners. Liberate the All Ireland champions beaten. And giving everybody in the game a hurling and new lease of life. Full time score. Cork, two goals, 17 points. Limerick, 22 points. Loads of learnings for us, loads of mistakes to be made. Um, we're looking to